All right, fans, here we go. Big IPW TV title match. Out comes Rasta Man to his music, smoking the spleef as usual, and joining me as usual, the hardcore giant, Ron Nini. You know, at one time, I actually enjoyed some of the small funny, the sweet blunt with the Rasta Man. And one I, time? Well, a couple times, and what I did is I laughed. <laughs> yeah, you had about the biggest smile on your face I'd ever seen because you're normally a miserable SOB, as everybody knows. But the crowd is not miserable. They're dancing along to Rasta Man's song. There he goes, playing to the camera. There's a guy who knows how to be on TV. And there you see Ned Flanders, gentleman Jim Bragg, about to referee this match. Looking great for 85 years old. He's over there jonesing in the corner. He's like, brother, can I please get the small funny? I'm a small bit constipated. And there's my mortal enemy, Mr. Peskin leading the television champion, the original Dudley Dudley, Jeff Bradley. I hate these two individuals. Okay, with Jeff Bradley turning his back on you, Ron Nima. You brought him back from Puerto Rico. You gave him a title shot immediately. Now, granted, it was Jeff Bradley who went on his own, defeated Devin Nash, and got that title. Granted, there was some help along the way from Rod Steele. But tell you what, you gave him the opportunity, and now he comes in and stabbed you in the back. You must be getting a little bit tired of that. It doesn't matter if it's been chaos. It doesn't matter if it's somebody like Jeff Bradley. I've been turned on. I've been stabbed in the back. For God's sake, I tried to do an interpromotional angle with Howard Brody in NW. Florida. How much more can you be dumped on than that? Well, I tell you, you get what you get for trying to do an interpromotional angle with Howard Brody. You must be feeling like Sting or Jeff Jarrett getting stabbed in the back so much. Oh, that was a leapfrog oh, almost God. missed there by Rostam, and he kicks him right square in the face, and it's rare this early in the match, if at all, you see Jeff Bradley down on the mat. Jeff Bradley goes to the outside and says, oh, you want to be stiff? You want to kick me in the face with that spinning bicycle Rostam and kick me? Oh, well, you got another thing. Okay, Rod Nimi, there you see. Big <coughs> slam there by Rasta, man. Is he going to the top rope already? Yes, he, oh, no, he's just going to pose. Not very smart for the veteran. He stalled a little bit. Let's see if it hurts him. Oh, oh, of course God. it does. I'm not exactly sure what kind of corkscrew maneuver that was, that but I know he missed. Up. No, the twisty stalled is by Mike Sullivan. That was almost a three count by Jeff Bradley, but you're not going to pin Rasta, man, that early in the match. Gentleman Jim Bragg at the young age of 85 years old moves around like a young spry referee, like a young Tommy Young about 82 years ago before he was... What happened to him again? I'm not exactly sure. He got hurt in the match, something or other, blah, blah, blah. And then Teddy Long got to be a referee, and it all goes downhill from there. How do you get any better than Tommy Young? But there's a vicious punch to the chestal cavity of Rasta Man. After he about ripped his nose off there, these two guys, I'll tell you what, Dudley Dudley, ODD, Jeff Bradley, whatever you want to call him. He's used to being a hardcore competitor here in IPW, and some of those hardcore tendencies are coming out as he rips at the nose, rakes at the eyes of Rasta Man, but he's going to have to be able to do a lot more than that to put this tough veteran away. Both these incredible talents will be at IPW Reborn on February 23rd, that Saturday night, 8 uh -oh, p.m. at the WrestlePlex. Rasta Man not selling again, which he's legendary for in the WrestlePlex. He's like, no, Jeff Bradley, that doesn't hurt this big coconut noggin of mine, but this does, brother. See how it feels? Eat the turnbuckle, my yeah, friend. He was waving the finger a la Hulk Hogan versus Earthquake at SummerSlam 90, but there you see a low blow to the McGroin. We seem to have a lot of those here in IPW, Ron Nemi. You'd think Dusty Rhodes was calling the spots in the back with all these nut shots, Aaron. Well, I tell you what, I don't know anything about that, Ron. But what I do know is Rasta Man still laying on the canvas. ODD taking his time a little bit. A little surprised. Maybe he's a little winded, not wanting to show it. But I would not be taking this much time going against a guy like Rasta Man. I'd be trying to get the victory and get the hell out of Dodge. Jeff Bradley walks oh, across the nice. and drops a vicious elbow across Rasta Man's chest. And he covers him for this got to be it. Two. No, on, not Jim quite a Brad. three count. That constipation's got to be getting to him just a little bit, Aaron. Yeah, it must be just a little bit. Seems like every time he's around you, he's a little backed up, Ron Nimi. But what I don't get is, you were just cheering, hoping Jim Bragg would go ahead and count the pen for Dudley Dudley. I thought you hated that guy. Well, I got plans, I got motives, I got what I want that TV title. I want in the camp on 911 Incorporated. If I got to send Mike Shane after that title, if I got to send my newest friend, Jet Jaguar, I don't care who I got to send for it, Dudley Dudley's going to pay for what he did to the hardcore giant Ron Nini. I tell you, Jet Jaguar, back in the fold of 911 Incorporated, you guys are stronger than ever, and you've got the fans behind you for once. I never thought I'd see that, but we see this all the time. Jeff Bradley bidding the rules, choking the Rasta man, but he breaks it before the fight. 
five count, and there's nothing wrong with that. You know, you come to the Florida WrestlePlex, you can call at 727-526-6778, and we'll teach you the fine art of choking the life out of somebody. We'll teach you how to come and be one of the best professional wrestlers that the independent scene has ever seen. Rasta Man is the full-time head trainer. We got people like Naftali down there doing everything they can to help the talents. But these guys, they've taken the wrestling and they've thrown it out the window. And they, oh, oh, my, my God. goodness. What the hell's wrong with this guy? That was beautiful. I tell you what, what's wrong with Jeff Bradley right now is he just got knocked the heck out by a stiff kick right there by Rostaman, right to the face. And if he hurries up, he might be able to take advantage, become a new television champion, get some more gold for Rostaman and IPW. And talk about Dusty Rhodes as he was working his way up there. That shades of old school Florida wrestling. You talk about 300-pound monsters beating the life out of each other. Oh, my goodness. Right to the stage area. And let me tell you, that stage is not soft. That stage hurts really bad. you got 290 pounds of Rasta Man coming down on that stage. Your back's going to be sore, and you're going to be lucky if you get up. If I understand, after this match, his back was actually very, very tender. Yes, it was. Much like mine is each and every week carrying you here on the IPW broadcast. But that's a story for a different time. It's not for now because we got the television well, championship. Here we go, Look guys. at Mr. Peskin. Always sticking his nose in the business of people like Jeff Bradley. What was that? An international object. I don't know, but Jim Bragg must be going blind in his old age because he looked around. You'd think he would have seen the brass knucks coming into the ring. But maybe that small fun, he got a little contact buzz. He didn't see it coming in. And boom. Oh, loaded elbow pad. That's One, efficient. Two, lariat. three. That's it, fans. Still, your IPW television champion, ODD, Jeff Bradley. Jeff Bradley is one of the guys that doesn't care about winning. He doesn't care about losing. Look at what this. he cares about, see, now oh. he's getting what he got coming. He used the brass knuckles to load up that elbow pad and drop it with a vicious lariat, Bobby Jagger style. And he got the belt upside his head. And look, here he oh, comes, the Cuban assassin with a brand new move, hitting people with the Cuban flag. I haven't seen this before. This is as innovative as the Ultimo Dragon with the flying, twisting gimmick 450 splash. Yes, it's exactly like that. There you see Cuban assassin standing over Rasta, man. Fans, we'll be back in a moment. 